boy. Yeah. Now! Hey! You best damn well listen! <laughs> Time to go, boy. Yep. What in the hell?
Easy now. Promise. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with... Due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So this Colonel Favor, he you knows you're up here helping these people. Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. 
I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good... The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise.
Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, no, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so.
Get, come on. Wait.
Okay, keep Big man, worried, really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know, to everybody? Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. 
Now he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Oh, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. The Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting, and there's one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Sorry. What are you trying to do? This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. 
You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <sighs> Listen, Mr... Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr... I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. <sighs> Listen, we're all Americans here. And we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. <laughs> So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. federal government... Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Treaty. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Let him go. You son of a bitch. Don't be dumb. Open fire on This way.
sorry, Mr. Morgan. I cannot kill these men. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Um... I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. <sighs> I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. 
Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I've felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. to see you on the up and up. Can't take it with you anyway, right? Thank you for your help.
Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her, and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. <sighs> ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey, partner, come back here. to speak to you. Where are you running off? Hey, will you talk? Disappear! You're starting to irritate me. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Magnifico! Can't man- What you got of this, partner? Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy! Merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on there. Ah, God damn it. So long, dummy. Where are you? You said. Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. 
I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Mister? Oh, do you have the time there? I haven't got a clue. Yep. Excuse me, Martin. Hello. A few dollars? Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. 
Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. Huh. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old earth. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey, we're going to... All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We got to follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh. Here comes something, buddy. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go. Quiet. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. 
Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Do you want to get arrested for public disturbance? Officer, where's this shooter then? Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states. See with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colm O'Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life!
Go! How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant and the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again and I fear I have broken yours and for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Won't even sit next to me no more. <laughs> 